Um, today I'm gonna take you through the creation of uh, this creature. Uh, it is actually very simple. I've done something similar in the past using Sphertrop. I will be using Sorcar add-on to do this. Um, yeah, so just let get started. Uh, Blender, this version of Blender somehow. So let's delete everything. We have Sorcar already. So file, save as Sorcar creature. And we can switch to node editor, Sorcar, new. I will start with just a simple grid. And with the grid, I will choose, uh, I will select a random faces. So select random. And I know that I will be using extrusion, but um, there's a better one than extrude is actually inset. Inset give you a lot of more op option for the thickness and depth, etc. And so we first need to convert from mesh to component. And then later on, we're gonna switch from component back to mesh. So this goes in. And so it's this selecting and it's selecting. It's actually better that if you keep selection and then deselect over here. I don't know why. And let's take a look. Select this node, scrub a little bit so we have something on the scene. And select this guy and extrude. Okay. So that's uh that part is working and if we smooth it, it looks something like that. So that's nice. We can randomize the seed. And okay, we can switch to cube. Cube and we want to subdivide the cube. First of all, I think let's do it this way. Component operators and subdivide. We probably need a, the mesh refresh. Like that. Um, so we I turn off this select here and then subdivide subdivide over here. We have option to to do fractal and things like that, so that's probably what we need at some point, and also smoothness. So this is good uh, for us to get started. And inset is already working. There's a thickness and then depth, and we can turn on individual if you want to have the creature. But uh, you see, even even at this stage, you already see this can be very interesting for what we are trying to make we can we can have more detail or less detail of the character and then we can turn on individual and then we can really add another inset and then play around with this so you already see this is uh, creating the tentacles tentacles for our creatures you can do this multiple time this one can go up go up again this one go down again. You can do this manually, just like this, or you can actually use loop. I will save this as tentacles. Actually, maybe just call this Sorkar tentacles. Tentacles. Save and save it again. So this will um, the tentacle will automatically go smaller and smaller by default. If you want to do something crazy like select inset, it's going to do something quite interesting. But don't do that for now. So these operations, we want to loop. So let's find flow control. Not, not begin for each loop. Or we won't begin for loop. That's the one with um, control over the iterations. All right, so we already select random. 
this this goes in there and the end loop goes in there and then this goes in there so this should be pretty clear like this two three four oh when selecting nodes you can actually tap c and then select all like that okay and refresh the mesh hopefully this works okay it doesn't work because i need to plug this there refresh the mesh now it is working now uh so yeah at this point we want to try to adjust this so it looks a bit nicer we're gonna read the depth so it's not so the tentacle is not too long i want to have that kind of like a fat looking tentacles oh, I, sh I shouldn't i don't actually need to do it too much it seems or i need less less faces okay that's better because uh, at this stage if i go there refresh the mesh duplicate this smooth it now we already have our creature uh, one thing that i have not set up here is the how the tentacles might uh, have some kind of variations maybe i'm not gonna do that for now I, for now i will be just using the fractal you see if i if we can animate the fractal it's gonna already have interesting animation smoothness maybe to make it more rounded but along the normal that's this kind of motion is nice and then we can or we can use randomize the seed that's exactly what i'm gonna do next just a quick trick right at this uh we have random seed i'm gonna make a duplicate at random seed zero and then make a oh i need to select that make duplicates change the random seed make duplicates change again duplicates i'm just gonna make maybe eight of these variations the last one is the same as the first so this is the procedural tentacles this is the one that we already baked i'm i'm gonna do this um yeah select all of this and then tap space or get into this menu and then join as shape so one of these should have blend shapes or shape keys and we can now play this guy select this turn off relative evaluate time so you can see within um, around 60 frame it goes back to the origin but we already have the creature animation here so it's quite nice even though it's only moving the the base of the tentacles it's already giving interesting motion because of the maybe the fractal and random seed also don't forget smooth shade smooth you can actually displace and maybe make this fatten fatten it or just use displace modifier and then here you can adjust it a little bit more and then you can use noise just to add more motion cloud or um, yeah, something like that if you want to animate it you know you use object and then use the empty and move the empty something like that so if, if, if you want to animate this guy you can animate this manually or while evaluating time or you can use python put a frame number and then modulo divided by maybe 60 because we have 60 frame there 60 what is this 60 uh, 60 unit or anyway that at the last frame it should switch to the origin it pops a little bit somehow 
maybe I forgot something. It pops maybe because I need to have this and then create another one. Maybe. But you got the you got the drill. Now this creature is animating. If you want this to be more interesting, you can also add a soft body. Soft body. And this is will be, this will be using dynamic. So we use force field and maybe turbulence. Increase the turbulence. Well, not too much. Just a little bit. Bit of turbulence, a bit of noise. Give it a bit of flow, so it's flowing. So now the creature is starting to look more interesting. So this is like there's a lot of uh, layered effects here. And why I have to look to look at it? Oh, this is the field. Is the empty? Maybe we don't want that. I think it's quite all right. So now that's me increasing the turbulence, and then maybe somewhere there, because the, this character should just be moving like that all the time. Maybe some kind of motion like that, because now it has soft body, so. If you animate it like that using animation nodes, maybe it's gonna look even better. So it's a lot of layered animations there. But you started with uh, this guy right here. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's just frozen on me. I did I save it? Oh, probably I didn't save it. Mm, maybe I did. If you want to use, you can do that. Okay, I saved it. Good. If you use Spare Chalk, I will sh show you very, very quickly. There is one node that's doing a similar thing. So, new. I have Spare Chalk installed now. I think the search is still broken. No, it's not broken. Good. Um, box. Subdivide image file ZS SV tentacles. So this is a bonus. Okay, um, you can smooth it. We need edge. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. It's almost exactly the same, except that here we use multi extrude. And if I'm not wrong, this should just work. Oh, okay, you need a face mask, <coughs> face mask, just give a range integer and Plug it there. You can have one for every tentacle or just random number. You can repeat. Okay, this is a repeat, and you, you have options like kind of want to play with the rotations and things like that. So now you already have the tentacles creature. And you can you can do the same with the shape keys. So which one do you like? Which one do you prefer? I mean, this one works this way because of this multi extrude add-ons. The one, the other one with Sorcar, it's a uh, you set up manually and using loop, and then it's actually you you have more control. This one was actually an add-on. At some point, it was an add-on, and then it was. Converted into a single node by one of Spreadshop developer. I think Zephy did it. I forgot who created the original. 
but even these have seed so you can have like multiple oops you can plug the frame number into the seed oh you cannot <laughs> don't worry this duplicate 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 and then one two three four join as shapes one of these guys should have shape keys now select that turn off relative now you can animate so that's another tentacle features all right so that's just a bonus which one you prefer it's you can basically recreate this using sorcar it's the, these rotations that i'm kind of interested in rotation of the normal after it's being extruded the rest of them is uh, the same all right so thanks again for tuning in hopefully you find this useful let me know and i'll see you next time thank you bye